In this class we learn about transformation tool. So first we have to create any object in our viewport. For this I create a box and it's available inside standard primitive. So I click on the box tool, it's turned into blue, it's mean tool is active now and I try to create this by using top viewport. So first click and hold on a point and then drag your mouse. By this method you can define a base then release your mouse. Now move your mouse a little bit upside by using this method you can provide height. Then click here parameters are applied now you can exit from the box tool. So you can exit by pressing escape key or just right click. This box is selected right now. If you click outside, it got deselected. And in case if you want to select this, you can simply click on the edge when this plus icon or cross wire icon appear. So when you click here, this box got selected. Or alternate method is this. You can use this scene explorer window. By clicking on the box, you can select this or you can also hide this by clicking on the I button. If you click it will hide and in case if you want to unhide this unhide option also available on the right click you can click on the unhide all option now you can see this object in the viewport currently object select tool is active so you can see this stick line with the axis this tool available here and keyboard shortcut is Q by using this tool you can only select this object you are not able to move in any direction in case if you want to move this little bit upside, downside or left right, you have to use select and move tool. Keyboard shortcut is W. I click on this or you can also activate this by keyboard shortcut. When you select this tool, a gizmo appear in the center of this object. And here you can see the axis and arrow for the movement purpose. In case if you want to move this in the X direction, click and hold on the red color arrow and then click and drag. You can only move in the x direction in the negative or positive value. Same as in case if you want to move little bit upside or y axis, you can click and hold here and then drag. By using these arrow handles, you can move a object in x or y direction. Same as by using side viewport, you can move in the z axis. So first we have to make this viewport as a active viewport. So I click on the scroll wheel. By using this method, this object not deselect and this viewport turned into a active viewport. Now you can select this handle. If you didn't make this viewport as a active viewport, you are not able to select this handle. So now I click and hold on this handle by left click and then move up or down. So you can also move in the Z axis. If you want to move this object in a freeform way, you can use this yellow color square. When you click and hold when this icon or this yellow box appear in the center of this object, click and drag. Now you can move this object in a freeform way. You can also do this by using any viewport. I want to move this by using top viewport. So click here with the middle mouse key and then click and hold on the center when this icon appear with yellow color box. So now I can move this from the top viewport in a freeform way. There are some other options also available for object movement. You can use these X, Y, G values uh, by clicking on the up and down arrow keys. You can move a object in particular axis. If you click and hold on the up and down arrows and then drag your mouse in the upside or downside, you can move uh, from here also. Same as in case if you want to move this in the Y axis, you can use this axis button. By using this method, you can also move any object in any direction. Or in case if you want to place this object in the center of this grid from the Y and X axis, you can simply right click on the up and down arrow keys. So if I right click on the up and down arrow key, you can see value turned into zero. It's mean object place in the center of this grid from the X axis. Same as I also press right click on the up and down arrow keys in the Y axis and it will place in the center of this grid. By using this method, you can place any object in the center of grid. Now we learn how you can rotate this object. In the last class, we learned about orbit rotation. 
by using alt and middle mouse key you can rotate in a orbit but in case if you want to rotate this object from the axis or center pivot you can use rotate tool keyboard shortcut is e and tool name is select and rotate so i click here and you can see two circle appear around the object if you want to rotate this object by using this 2d viewport first you have to make this viewport as a active viewport so i click on the middle mouse key and then hover your mouse on the gray color circle now you can rotate this in z axis you can see here also if i click and drag if you see here you can see z axis is active now and here i type 0 so it will reset if you want to rotate this object by using this perspective viewport first make this viewport as a active viewport and then you can hover your mouse on these colorful axis lines and by using this line you can rotate in the perspective viewport so it's very important if you are using 2d axis viewport you have to use this gray color circle lines for rotation and if you are using this 3d viewport you have to use these colorful lines for axis rotation if you want to reset this rotation you can simply right click on the up and down arrow keys for y axis and z axis so it will reset now we learn how you can scale down this object or in case if you want to exit from the rotation or scaling tool you have to select this select object tool so keyboard shortcut is q or you can also select this select and move tool it's very important now i click on the scale tool and keyboard shortcut is r now you can see this pivot or gizmo turn into a scale tool and by using these axis handles first we have to make this viewport as an active viewport so click on the scroll wheel and this turn into active viewport you can see these golden line around this viewport and click and hold on the y axis and you can scale down in the y axis in case if you want to scale only in the y axis same as you can also scale from the other axis also same as by using this left viewport or front viewport you can also scale from the x axis in case if you want to scale this object in a uniform way you have to place your mouse in the center of this triangle and then click and drag you can see this object is scale up or down in a uniform way so it's also a very useful trick it's a freeform way of scaling but in case if you want to scale this in a particular ratio like 150% or 200% you can right click on the scale tool here you can see xyz axis with the scale value and there is a offset screen value if you click and hold here you can see this offset screen percentage is increasing so here you can apply that percentage value that you want to apply for scaling now i close this flyout and in case if you want to exit from the scale tool you have to select this object select tool or select and move tool so it's very important after using any tool you have to switch to object selection tool